Hey, what's going on, Gemini? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. So guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to your May 2020 uh, bonus tarot card reading. So I'm doing this spread that I found. It's called Whispers of the Ancestors. Um, and this is going to look at which of your ancestors are present and how um, they can help you. And, you know, they it's looking at healing messages from your ancestors and how you can honor your heritage and any advice that your ancestors might have. So this is a really cool reading and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, and I'm really um, interested to know like what you think of the read and what your favorite card was. So definitely comment down below, let me know. And just to let you guys know that I was closed for private readings for a while, but I am open again. So if you're looking for a private read, go ahead and contact me at um, ariesfiretarot at gmail.com and that's down below in the description box for you. Um, or if you're like on my Facebook page, Aries Fire Tarot, you can message me through there. But anyway, looking forward to serving you guys now with this general reading and in the future. So I'm going to look at with the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition which ancestors are present right now. And so far I've just been seeing sort of an individual. I'm not seeing groups. So let's see which ancestors are present. So this is really interesting with the 10 of cups. So there could be a legacy in your family where somebody was just super happy and positive and I'm actually seeing that in, in kind of within the, the past, hundred years or so maybe there was somebody in your family and I don't think that they were a direct or direct relative like <clears throat> a grandparent or something like that I was thinking somebody that was like an aunt or an uncle and they were always really really happy and I'm getting the impression here that this person was not married and for some reason, I'm getting for some of you it was somebody that would resemble uh, sort of the attributes. Have you ever seen that movie, um, Uncle Buck? Something like like that, where everybody was not super accepting of this person because they were so happy and almost like bumbling in their own like endearing way, but it wasn't seen as endearing at the time. It was seen as annoying. And I can see that it was really painful for that person because they just had so much love to give. Aww. And it's like, people were like, oh, well, you know, why aren't they married yet? And kind of like taking offense to the fact that they weren't married. But they were always like so willing to help out. And I see for some of you, this person really liked to host picnics for some reason. They could possibly have been very involved in the church. Um, and I think the fact that they, they weren't married was viewed sort of by everybody else as an issue, but this person was like, well, you know, it's just not God's plan. You know, and they were just very happy to serve the community and, you know, do their worship. And I see them really volunteering a lot. And I'm really seeing like between the past 75 and 150 years that this person was here, you know, so you might even, <clears throat> because it wasn't super, super long ago, you might even be able to see this person in some of your family photos. Um, and it could be sort of the oddball auntie that would wear the, wear the weird hats or I'm seeing somebody a little bit, you know, portly, but they were so like happy and jolly. And then it was just after they passed that everybody was like, oh, wow, they were such a good person. They think they started to find out from other people, you know, oh, they were always so supportive and always helping me out and bringing me things from the garden. And then I think there was sort of a newfound respect for this family member after they passed, which is kind of a little bit sad because, but they never took it, they never took it in a negative way. They just really just loved everybody. So they were always happy, but they just weren't appreciated in their own time. So what is your relationship to me? 
like, and I'm seeing here with the Four of Cups that it was somebody that you just, like, missed knowing. And, you know, like, because, I, um, like, when I did the, who was it, Aries reading, I saw way back in time, like, way back in time for their ancestor. But because you guys are so close and because... Like when you think about it on the grand scheme of thing, like 50 years might seem like a long time to us, but in when you see the evolution of time and how long the earth has been around and how long humans have been walking on it, 50 years is not a long time. So you still, like I was saying, like you could probably still see people um, in the family photographs and think, oh, well, they look like a really nice person or maybe somebody's telling a really fun story about them or some weird thing that they did. So I'm seeing here that you just missed, like on the grand scale of time, um, being able to meet this person and really being able to benefit from basking in the glow of their really just pure heart that shone, like really with the love of God. And if you're not a God person, I mean like the universe and just like the angels, it was like they were just so blessed and happy no matter what was going on. And I think it freaked people out a little bit. Um, yeah, so what generational gift have you inherited from this person? And I love this. So we have the Ace of Wands here. So you might have this sense of sort of unflappable calm and being able to be really diverse and land on your feet and like being super resourceful um, and maybe not knowing where it's coming from, but you're probably receiving divine inspiration from this auntie or uncle um, because I think they really wanted to meet you like they really wanted to be around you know I think they they really could have guided you um, I mean very supportive so they're kind of like giving you like whispers like and again like this is called whispers from the ancestors so they're kind of going like hey, wouldn't it be cool if you did this? And if you get these sort of echoey, like hunches, I really do believe it's coming from this auntie slash uncle person who is present in your life. And again, just missing them. Um, so I think this is an amazing gift and to always be happy. And if you're not feeling that way, maybe take some sort of inspiration. And again, you could ask your family to talk about them a little bit more. So we're going to ask this ancestor, um, what are your hopes for me? So the first thing I'm getting here is they think that maybe you're you're heading a bit down uh, of a wrong path with the nine of wands. Some of you could be sort of wrapped up in a job that's not suited for you, or you could have a friendship that is not serving your highest good, or, you know, maybe you're doing something a little bit toxic with your life. And you know what I'm talking about if it's you they want you to stop and have a look at where you're going and see if all the energy that you're investing in what you're doing is absolutely going to be worth it for your highest timeline like are you doing things that honor your existence like is it best for your the health of your body so this is what we're getting here what are your hopes for me this ancestor is saying uh, maybe you want to check yourself before you wreck yourself anybody hear that song so how can I honor my heritage so you can take this pivotal moment where you're sitting here and watching this and maybe deciding okay well maybe that's not the best thing I should be doing and sort of look at how they led their life with this like sort of undying and in enduring joy and it's going to help you move your life on because we've got the wheel of fortune here you know, it's going to help you move to a different position. So all you have to do is take a bit of a pause um, and look at exactly where you want to want to go and start really listening to these whispers from your ancestors. And maybe you could grow, like I'm seeing here, maybe you could even just go and visit them wherever they're interned. You know, if there's ashes, you know, or a cemetery or some sort of, like maybe somebody has, I think some of you have some, some people in your family where they're sort of enshrined. Because I think there was a couple people in your family that really got this person, but everybody else was like, oh, what if like, 
you know, but there was a fondness there. And I, I think if you could visit that place, then things might change for you a little while. I think you might be able to really sort of take advantage of their aura, which is still there. And you could sort of step into that and I really see it sort of altering your life path and putting you on a higher sort of like almost like that that happy-go-lucky you know hey I woke up today everything's gonna be great you know and not very many people have that and I think that this is a gift that could be I got the word transposed transferred that is the ultimate gift that they want to give you is that sense of joy. You know, and how many people do you know that, oh, okay, well, that happened. Woo! You know, and that is where you could be sort of imbued with that energy from this ancestor. And there is nothing more beautiful than that. So healing messages from your ancestors. Well, this is really cool, you guys, because I pulled the Four of Swords. So this is to really take time. The Four of Swords is asking you to take a break, basically, and that's really sort of concurs with the Nine of Wands that I pulled for you. This is asking you to pause and look forward, and this is asking you to get in touch a little bit more with the side of you that would meditate and i just saw angel numbers 1133 you guys so you might want to check that out after so they really want you to slow down take time for yourself um everything doesn't have to be a battle and i think that if you were to visit this site i mean if it's out of town try to do your best to get there or talk to somebody that was a little bit close maybe you've got a senior citizen in your family that has really fond memories or a lot of pictures um, and I really think that somebody has like a ton of pictures, you know, with maybe some ornaments that this person had in their house like, because they really saw who they were, that really pure soul. Um, and this is like, this is going to be your generational gift from that person where they want to transfer that. Um, you'll have to get in touch with yourself a little bit more and understand that that energy is available and I think, like I said here too, with the Wheel of Fortune, I see like your your highest timeline appearing because of it. Because if you take somebody that is negative, I'm not saying you're negative, versus somebody who is extremely positive, every day is your highest timeline if you're if you're a positive person. So, guys, I just wanted to you to note that we had the Four of Cups earlier, and I've got the Four of swords here too so you have angel numbers four four also so definitely check out the angel numbers that appear in my readings because that's that's the guides going yo i've got another message for you so i find this a very interesting reading um and it, it's somebody that would have you know if they had been if you guys had been born 50 years in other directions I think you would have been really close friends and you could have learned a lot from this person and you still could learn a lot from them angel number three 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 amazing um, and I think if you wanted to really meditate you could, you could hear their messages coming in a little bit stronger for you and just know that they're coming through this, this little gap of time so they're pretty still close to the veil um, you, you'll be able to hear them and hear their ideas and hear their joy and look like this rapture. Um, and it can really push you, like I said before, to your highest timeline. So really, really cool cards for you guys. I, I hope that you're able to take this and, you know, um, really honor this ancestor that wants you to have your, your best experience while you're here on Earth. So guys, namaste. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.